Speaking of punching people in the face, Tamara at Wing Chun Do, uh, <laughs> Michael, the guy who looks like the older guy who looks like the Gordon's fisherman. He was like, "Where's Where's that gal who was in your band? Where's? Oh, I don't know where we're gonna no. see." Who are you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> and this is Wing Chun Do. This Wing is Chun Do. this is Bruce Lee's form of martial arts. Bruce, yep, it came from Ip Man. Ip Man taught Bruce Lee traditional Chinese Wing Chun, amongst other things, I believe. And then Bruce Lee took what he learned with Ip Man was as a teenager. He moved to Seattle because um, there was like a hit out on him for the, from the Chinese triad. He got in trouble because he beat up somebody from the Chinese triad. So his mom sent him to Seattle to go to school. And he met four fighters of other disciplines, including a, a heavyweight, uh, American heavyweight boxer in the Air Force, whose name was James DeMille. James DeMille trained with Bruce Lee, helped Bruce Lee develop the one and three inch punches that he's famous for. Um, and after Bruce decided to go on a movie star career, because that's what, what he really wanted to do is be a movie star, um, he, James DeMille, then took all the stuff that he learned with Bruce and refined it and honed it and codified it into a system that became Wing Chun Do, or the Do being the modern version of Wing Chun. So, so that's what he called it, because he couldn't call it Wing Chun, because it's not traditional Wing Chun. We do things that are different. So, and then a couple of years ago, in August 2016, James DeMille, the founder, we call him CJ, his founder, he traveled from his home in Hawaii to give my instructor the system. So he handed the whole system over to my instructor, because my instructor has been training in it now for since, I think, 1985. Uh, when he first met C. Joe. So Ip Man trained Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee and James DeMille trained together and James l learned what he learned from Bruce and, br and he worked with Bruce to help him develop techniques to uh, work against boxers. Uh, and then James DeMille, after Bruce took off, James DeMille took what he learned and codified it into the system and built the system up and then chose my instructor out of all the instructors that he's trained over the decades to take the system from him because he's 82 years old. So after Bruce Lee's uh, untimely death, his people kept his legacy going? Uh, well, quite frankly, his people, Sejo kept his legacy, James DeMille kept Bruce Lee's legacy going um, before Bruce Lee was dead because Bruce Lee was enthralled with Hollywood cinema. He was also a, a a world-class uh, cha-cha dancer, I believe. So he was a really, really good dancer. So he, he wanted he wanted to be famous. He wanted to be in the movies. All those high kicks and stuff like that, he only did that for the movies. Normally, he wouldn't raise his legs up off the ground. He'd just trap you up with his hands and stuff like that. And as a matter of fact, he didn't teach everybody in Jeet Kune Do, he didn't teach them everything that he learned with James DeMille when they were working together because he didn't want anybody to be better than him. He did, it wasn't necessarily a conceited thing, but he just wanted to be the best, and he's not going to teach anybody everything he knows. Whereas James DeMille looks at it as, here's this practical self-defense system for people who want to get up in life, not for people who want to be movie stars, not for people who want to compete in tournaments and win trophies or you know spar with each other all the time. It's learning practical stuff that when you are set upon by forces that you don't want, you can defend yourself and, and take care of it. So yeah, that's, that's Wing Chun Do in a nutshell.